Pilot Jameson couldn't believe his eyes when he soared over the top of Mount Hood. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw something strange just sitting there. It glistened in the sunlight, almost blinding his eyes. Was it an object, a person, or something else? Intrigued and concerned, Captain Jameson quickly reached for his radio, urgently calling the local police. The police hesitated, but eventually agreed to see what was going on, and they were glad they did. Mount Hood was a notorious mountain many climbers wanted to climb. However, it wasn't an easy thing to do, as there was no trail to the top. They had to climb it with ropes, and it could only be done by the best of the best. And even if you were the best climber of all time, it wouldn't be a one-day job. Pilot Jameson knew all about the mountain's risks as he flew over it multiple times a day. He operated a small aircraft, transporting goods and sometimes one or two persons to the other side of the mountain. He had seen many people trying to get to the top, but only a few of them actually made it there. But what he saw today, he never expected to see. As he soared over the mountain, he looked down trying to see if someone would be brave enough to climb it. However, what he saw wasn't as he had expected. On the top of the mountain, he saw something blue and shiny pointing up at the sky. Pilot Jameson frowned and squinted his eyes, trying to make out what it could be. For a distance, Jameson could not identify what he saw. Concerned by what he was seeing, Pilot Jameson reached for his radio. He called the local police, asking them if they could go up there and see what was going on, but the police were reluctant. They knew how dangerous Mount Hood was, and they didn't want to risk their officers' lives. That was when Pilot Jameson thought of the perfect idea. He asked the dispatcher if he could get him a police helicopter so he could get three police officers to the top of the mountain. It was a risky plan, but far safer than having three inexperienced police officers navigate the treacherous terrain. Despite initial hesitation from the dispatcher, Pilot Jameson managed to convince him, arranging to meet at the local hospital's helicopter pad within the hour. Making a swift U-turn in the sky, he promptly contacted his original destination to inform them of the delay and hurriedly redirected his course. Upon reaching the airstrip, Jameson wasted no time, swiftly touching down and racing to his trailer. With every passing moment crucial, he embarked on the 15-minute drive to the hospital knowing time was of the essence. Arriving with a racing heart, he found the officers already waiting at the helicopter pad. With a breathless greeting, Jameson ushered them on board, and they lifted off toward Mount Hood. As they ascended, the officers' apprehension was palpable, but Jameson reassured them with a hint of humor. Ten minutes later, as Jameson prepared to land on Mount Hood, the wind added to the challenge, causing the helicopter to sway. Navigating the turbulent winds, Jameson executed a skillful landing, prompting a collective sigh of relief from the crew. However, upon scanning the mountain, they were perplexed to find nothing amiss. Despite their focused attention on landing safely, they had failed to notice any signs of the mysterious object or person Jameson had spotted earlier. The crew now grappled with the possibility that Jameson's sighting had been a figment of imagination leaving them puzzled and uncertain of their next move. Or perhaps his eyes had played tricks on him, and now his team was understandably frustrated, feeling they had risked their lives for nothing. Standing resolutely before them, Jameson asserted, I am certain about what I saw on the mountain. It's not a mistake or an illusion. We need to go and see for ourselves. Despite their hesitation, Jameson's unwavering conviction urged them to trust his judgment. Jameson, are you really sure about this? One officer questioned skeptically. Jameson reaffirmed his certainty, emphasizing the importance of their investigation. After a heated discussion, the team reluctantly agreed to join Jameson, acknowledging the gravity of their mission and the risks involved. They prepared meticulously, gathering supplies and discussing potential routes. Led by Jameson, the group set out, driven by a sense of curiosity and adventure. Despite the challenges of the terrain, they pressed on, determined to uncover the truth behind Jameson's sighting. Their search proved challenging, with no sign of the mysterious object initially. However, the discovery of human footprints and abandoned gear reignited their determination. Following the trail, 
they stumbled upon a deserted campsite, hinting at recent human activity. Despite the lack of immediate answers, Jameson and his team remained undeterred, determined to unravel the mystery of Mount Hood. Someone definitely stayed here, Jameson noted, a mix of relief and curiosity in his voice. But where have they gone now? He wondered, scanning the deserted campsite for further clues. Encouraged by their discoveries, the team opted to widen their search area, splitting into smaller groups and venturing in different directions from the campsite. They trekked through the snow, their eyes sharp for any signs of activity. Jameson felt a surge of anticipation. They were onto something, and he was eager to unravel the mystery of Mount Hood. The team's spirits lifted with the discovery of recent human activity. Someone has been here recently, Jameson remarked, studying the traces they had uncovered. This renewed their determination to delve deeper into the enigma of Mount Hood. Encouraged by the signs they had found, the team ventured deeper into the tunnel, with Jameson leading the way, his determination evident in his voice. Committed to unraveling the secrets of the mountain, they held on to hope that they were edging closer to solving the mystery. Navigating through increasingly narrow and unstable passages, they proceeded cautiously, each step a deliberate move forward. Be careful, the path is getting tighter, Jameson cautioned, as the walls seemed to encroach upon them, heightening the challenge of their journey. Ducking and weaving through tight spots, they felt the weight of the mountain pressing down upon them, adding to the intensity of their trek. As they advanced, the ground grew more treacherous, with loose stones and gravel making their footing uncertain. Strange sounds reverberated through the tunnel, amplifying the eerie atmosphere and fueling their apprehension. Further along, they discovered more evidence of recent human presence, stirring a mix of excitement and concern. These clues suggest someone was definitely here, Jameson remarked, his voice firm with determination. These discoveries spurred them onward, despite the growing challenges they faced. As debates arose among the team members about whether to press on or turn back, Jameson listened carefully, knowing the importance of their decision. Ultimately, they resolved to continue, albeit cautiously, mindful of the risks, but driven by their curiosity and determination to uncover the truth. With their resolve strengthened, they pressed forward, each step bringing them closer to the heart of the mountain's mystery. The deeper they ventured, the more mysterious Mount Hood seemed, with the tunnel twisting and turning, leading them into uncharted depths. At a fork in the tunnel, the team faced a pivotal decision, pondering which path to take as they sought to unravel the mountain's secrets. After a heated debate, they opted to split into two groups, each exploring a different path in the hopes of covering more ground. Jameson led one group down the right path, displaying his expertise in navigating the challenging terrain. Their journey led them to an abandoned campsite deep within the tunnel, sparking a renewed determination to uncover the truth. Examining the remnants of the camp, they pieced together clues that hinted at a prolonged human presence and raised questions about who had been there and why. As they delved deeper into their investigation, they uncovered items that shed light on the inhabitants' struggle for survival, fueling their resolve to uncover the mystery hidden within the mountain. We might be onto something big here, Jameson said, a sense of anticipation in his voice. They decided to push on, hopeful that they were close to finding more concrete answers. Deep in a remote part of the tunnel, the team made a startling discovery. There, lying against the cold, damp wall, was the climber. He looked exhausted and weak. Over here, Jameson called out, signaling the others. They rushed to the climber's side, surprised and relieved to find him after their long and uncertain journey through the mountain. The team felt a wave of relief wash over them as they realized the climber was alive. He was weak, but he was breathing. We found him, Jameson said, his voice filled with relief. The climber opened his eyes slowly, looking up at the faces of his rescuers with a faint sense of recognition and gratitude. Immediately, they began to administer first aid to the injured climber. One of the team members carefully wrapped him in a thermal blanket, while another offered him water. We're here to help you, they reassured him, as they checked for injuries and made him as comfortable as possible under the circumstances. 
As he regained some strength, the climber began to share his story. He had gotten lost on his way back from the peak and injured his leg. Unable to walk, he had crawled into the tunnel for shelter. I thought I'd never be found, he said, his voice weak but filled with the relief of being rescued. He explained how he had tried to signal for help, using whatever he had at his disposal. But as days passed with no rescue, he retreated further into the tunnel, seeking shelter and hoping for a miracle. I just wanted to stay alive, he said, recalling his desperate attempts to survive. With the climber found, the team quickly started planning the rescue. They discussed the safest way to transport him back through the tunnel and down the mountain. We need to be careful and steady, Jameson advised. They prepared a makeshift stretcher and planned their route back, considering the climber's condition and the challenges of the terrain. Jameson took the lead in coordinating the rescue operation. His experience and knowledge of the mountain proved invaluable. He instructed the team on the best ways to navigate the treacherous paths while ensuring the safety of the climber. His calm and confident demeanor gave everyone the assurance they needed in this complex situation. They began their cautious descent, carrying the climber on the stretcher. Each step was taken with utmost care to avoid any jolts or slips. The team worked in perfect harmony, communicating and supporting each other as they slowly made their way down the narrow paths of the tunnel. The journey back was filled with obstacles. They had to maneuver through tight spaces and over unstable ground. Despite the difficulties, the team remained focused and determined. Their primary goal was the safety of the climber and each other, and they tackled each challenge with a steady resolve. Finally, after hours of careful navigation, the team emerged from the tunnel with the climber. They successfully reached the base of the mountain, concluding their daring and arduous rescue mission. Tired but triumphant, they felt a deep sense of accomplishment. They had faced the challenges of Mount Hood, and had come back with a life saved. If this story touched you as much as it did us, you should watch this video. Soldier finds object in desert. Then officer tells him this. Click here to get the full story.